Presently, we shall delve into the enduring impact of an individual whose contributions not only transformed the firearms sector, but also reshaped popular culture. Gaston Glock, the mysterious engineer and business magnate credited with developing the Glock pistol, one of the most extensively used firearms in the world, passed away on Wednesday at the age of 94, according to the company. Do not neglect to click the subscribe button and activate the notification bell prior to our commencement, so that you are never unaware of our intriguing content. During the 1980s, the Austrian military was actively seeking a revolutionary weapon. This is when Gaston Glock, our central character, was introduced to the conflict. Before this, the Glock organization had gained recognition for producing consumer products and military knives. However, Gaston assembled a group of specialists and unveiled the Glock 17, an innovatively designed lightweight semi-automatic firearm. The high-strength polymer frame distinguished it from the competition and secured a lucrative contract for his fledgling company. The Glock 17 rapidly gained worldwide recognition and adoption by law enforcement and military organizations. Even Hollywood took notice, as evidenced by the reverberation of phrases such as, obtain a Glock and discard that nickel-plated sissy pistol in films such as U.S. Marshals. Glocks were also favored by police officers in the United States and were even sampled by legendary rappers such as Snoop Dogg and Wu-Tang Clan in their lyrics. However, not all renown was met with praise. Gun control proponents expressed apprehensions regarding the maneuverability of these formidable firearms, highlighting their substantial capacity for ammunition. Glocks were tragically involved in incidents such as the 2018 Thousand Oaks shooting and the 2015 Charleston Church shooting, which fueled the debate surrounding gun control. Gaston Glock maintained a reticent demeanor, infrequently participating in public dialogues or addressing critiques. He declined to participate alongside other manufacturers in a voluntary firearms control agreement with the United States government in 2000. An intriguing insight into his personal life was provided in 1999 by means of an eccentric mallet assault in which he narrowly escaped a murderous attempt by an irate broker. Gaston Glock's personal life mirrored the turbulent trajectory of his career. Elimination of a 49-year marriage in 2011 precipitated an extensive legal dispute concerning alimony. Catherine, his second wife, was over 50 years his junior at the time of their union, a lakefront mansion, and an equestrian sports center, where celebrities congregated for opulent parties were components of his extravagant lifestyle. As one contemplates the existence of Gaston Glock, one must recognize the intricate nature of his legacy. With his ability to navigate controversies and revolutionize firearms, his influence is undeniably profound. We appreciate your participation in this investigation. Please share this video with your acquaintances. Give it a thumbs up and provide your thoughts in the comments section below if you found it intriguing. Until then, maintain your curiosity.